Hey guys, welcome back to our series of microservice with even driven architecture. So we are using domain driven design in Spring Cloud Stream. So in today's video, we are going to keep following what we are covering related to Spring Cloud Stream. So in the previous videos, we already covered the topic related to supplier, for example, the one that we use in order to send data into Kafka. The consumer, the one that we use in order to consume a message uh, from a topic or a queue, if you are using, for example, another messaging system, for example, RabbitMQ, but we are using Kafka. And today's video, we are going to focus only on function. So when we talk about function, if we remember function is pure Java functional interface, which receives a type and return another type, right? So in Spring Cloud Stream, we use the same concept so the function accepts a message as input and produce one or more messages as output okay so why do we need function here because we have already the supplier which we are using to produce messages and consumer so why we need the function here so if you understand the concept of transformer for example from enterprise integration patterns or translator you will understand that we can use, for example, message transformations if you need to transform the payload of a message from one type to another type. So this is why we need function here. Let's suppose that our application receives a message. Let's suppose customer. The customer has the first name, last name, and zip code as payload. So let's here uh, take a look, for example, first the first name is Joe, the last name is Doe, and the zip code is 9423. So our application can receive, can consume this message and translate it to another type, right? So as we can see here in this example, the, a, the application A consumes this message payload, okay, transform it into another type. If we take a look, for example, the first name and the last name has been combined and it's a name here as a result. And the zip code, instead of having, for example, the number here, we have the state. Okay, so this is the first concept that comes into our mind when we are using the function, okay, from Spring Cloud Stream. Okay, so uh, let's try to implement this using the Spring Cloud Stream and Spring Boot in order to understand a little bit more so uh, the concept of function and we are coming back to cover a little bit uh, more about uh, some others uh, for example use case where we can use uh, function so let's go so guys we are here we are using our decision microservice which consumes a message okay from our uh, customer topic so what we are going to do here is we are going to apply the function um, approach. So instead of having here the consumer, now we are going to apply the function. So we are going to receive, for example, this message, transform it or, or for example, process it. And then later we are going to publish it into, into Kafka, like as response or something like that. So in order to do that, the first thing that we need to do for, for now, let me just, for example, comment here. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to create our function. So in our case, our function will receive the customer event as the, the, the consumer was receiving. And as a result, we are going to publish the decision, okay? So let's just call it by process customer created okay this is the name of our uh, function and here is the place that we are going to apply the logic okay so what we can do here so for now let me just log here okay so we are just logging like consuming the event actually i think that we can say just okay processing the event now the, the 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 next thing that we need to do for example we can um i think yes for example for now we can just call the decision 
uh, service, okay, and and invoke right the method the at the side. So in that order, let's just take, uh, for example, nope, not like this. But first, we need to to get the customer from our event, and then we need to use the customer uh, attributes, right? So uh, what we need here just says here. So we need the social security number. We need also the birth date in order to, to get a decision. So as a result, let me check here. Okay. Uh, for now, we need just, for example, to refactor here and say that it will return a decision. And let's go here. Okay, it's decision, the implementation, and here in our service, we are going to return the decision in order to make our function to work, right? So for me, I can just, yeah, return it like that. But uh, for example, we can also log in order to, to, to be more clear for understanding propose. Okay, so for example, here we can just log, for example, so processing, we, we can understand the processing or uh, transforming, right? Yes, so and now here we are going to produce a decision, right? Here, uh, yes. So the next thing that we need to do, as always, is uh, create, is, create it as a bin, right? So now this is the time that we need uh, also, for example, here, instead of having this function, let me just, for example, here, copy this and go here in our application property, paste it here. So we are declaring, so a Spring Cloud function, function, because we are working with functional style, okay, definition. So we are def defining our function, which function, this one here that we have this one here that we have created right so the next thing that we need to do is to say for example let's just comment it here yes we need to say okay this function right process customer created we are consuming it from a topic so first thing we need to declare the topic that we are consuming so i can just put for example here instead of this we can put here for example uh, uh, the, the function, this function we are consuming from customer topic, okay? And then we need to specify also the topic that we are going to produce. So the this we can accomplish by doing like this, right? So the first one is in, so we are consuming from customer topic and the out, okay, we are producing to decision topic okay oops decision topic so this is the only thing that we need to do in order to for example um uh, accomplish okay um in order to create our function so now let's run our application let's see okay right so now we need also to run the customer uh, microservice let me just restart here and run so both our applications are running so the customer which is the producer and the decision which is the the uh, the transformer or the, the processor microservice right because it will use the the, the function to uh, consume and translate into another type so uh, the next thing that we need to do is just, for example, here using our Postman, we can create, for example, here. Okay, we create the first customer. Let's just check. So, um, yes, as we can see here in this log, so the first thing that we did was this. So we were consuming or transforming, okay, the customer created. The customer created is the event that our customer microservice just produced. So um, we consume the event, we apply the transformation, 
right? We apply in the business logic, which is which is the uh, uh, the decision here by invoking our service, right? Invoking our service, as we can see here, the decision is, as we can see here, and then we are producing back to Kafka, right? Producing the decision where we use it, we have done by using the function here. So producing the decision, as we can see here. So let's check in our AKHQ and our Kafka topic. So let's check. Here we publish the message, for example, um, the customer, right? So the customer microservice has published the customer uh, event, and then the other microservice, which is our uh, decision microservice, has applied, for example, for that customer has applied a business logic, right? So this is very nice. So this is the best way in order to, for example, to use, let's suppose, um, I can just say, for example, the, the command event, or for example, if you want to, to receive the same customer and enrich okay, this message. So let's take a look here. So taking a look here, we can understand that we can use, for example, uh, the function in order to filter some messages. Okay, let's suppose that we, we as we can see here in, in this image, we are receiving some widgets, some gadgets, right? And here we apply the filter using the function, right? In order to, uh, uh, for example, to filter only uh, the, 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 the widgets, right? So we don't need the gadgets here. So this is very nice uh, way to, for example, to filter based on some criteria, right? So we take the message, we take the payload and we filter them. So we can use the function in order to, to apply the filters. And we can also use the function in order to split our message. So when I was talking about the function, we understand that, for example, we can receive one or more messages, right? And we can, for example, split, uh, let's suppose that we receive a customer and we can split uh, by the customer attributes. For example, we can split, um, yes, we can split, for example, uh, the customer address. We can split, for example, the customer uh, professional uh, detail, right? So we can get one message, right? One message and split it into multiple uh, messages, right? So another use case where we can use uh, the, the, the function is when we talk about aggregation. So the opposite of splitting, right? So the aggregation. So let's suppose that we receive a, a, from a, a inventory microservice. So we receive the, the first item, the second, the third, right? And then we can aggregate it in order to compose, in, in order to create an uh, uh, order inventory, right? So these are the, the, the best uh, use case, right? That we can, for example, use in order to, to apply uh, the function. So you can read a little bit more about uh, all the splitting, aggregation, and also arrangement, right? From the enterprise integration patterns, the, the book, it's on the internet. So this is the, uh, the place that I just took these examples. So you can apply Spring Cloud Stream, for example, if you are filtering, let's suppose here, let's go back to our code. For example, if we want just to publish, okay, all customers that have, for example, the decision approved, for example, yes. And if the customer doesn't have a decision approved, we can just return now, right? So it, it won't publish anything. You can just try and play a little bit more with uh, the function. So hope that you enjoyed the video. So I'm just trying to make it as simple as possible, but they, these are the, the concepts in order to apply uh, the function. So hope that you enjoyed the video, put some likes and comment guys. So see you in the next video, bye.